<laughs> they really wouldn't. Uh, they just don't care because, uh, you know, they control their message. And if they don't control it, they try to control it. Let's uh, continue uh, with more phone calls. And uh, Mike in San Diego. Hello, Mike. Hey, Paul. How you doing? Uh, very well. Thank you. Hey, Paul, I just wanted to ask you a little bit about UAB football. Uh, I've heard good things about it starting to come back. I mean, I know they had a long way to go, but I doubt it. Anything good, and what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, I mean, let's forget what happened because uh, there's nothing anyone can do about it. Um, a reasonable amount. I'm in and out of Birmingham quite a bit. Uh, I hear great things about it. I know, I know they opened up practice last week. Uh, they have tremendous support from that community, which uh, they, they haven't always. And... Uh, I think they have a really strong coaching staff, got, got some good players in there. So I, I think they, they're going to get enormous attention when they open the season because of uh, they become somewhat, uh, in, a, in a weird sort of way, America's team, the team that, that did well and uh, because of the uh, insidious nature of its leadership at the time uh, and the, uh, the murkiness that surrounded uh, the, the, uh, the ups and downs of that program, uh, it's going to get a lot of the – a lot of press, which he deserves, and I hope it does extremely well. Thank you for the call. We are up against a break. Much more to come. We'll take your phone calls. Pete Thamel coming up here in a few minutes. Ryan McGee will head to Nashville, find out how Vanderbilt is doing now that uh, they're about to get on the practice field. It is Monday.